It's Cape and Apple iPhone Apps and I found the five best free tools in the App Store that work for anyone. Not programs for people in specific networks like Facebook or Twitter, but programs that'll turn your iPhone into a resource center of cool. We'll start with my favorite app, which is Midomi Mobile. Now this app is a perfect tool to figure out what the heck that song is that's stuck in your head. Imagine you just sat down at your iTunes to download that song you heard in the car, but you can't remember who sang it or even the title. Well now you don't have to. You can simply sing or hum the song and Midomi will tell you what it is. Now watch this, even a deaf toned blogger can get this to work. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh I wanna take ya. Montego, Fontigo, ooh I don't know lyric. So as you can see that sounded pretty bad and I didn't even know the lyrics, but we'll see what Midomi does with it. So it's searching now their database and it comes up with results and there it is right on top Kokomo by the Beach Boys which is actually what I was trying to sing and the nice thing here is I can actually click on it so it's a little bit low but you actually can hear somebody better singing the song so I can make sure that it is the exact song that I was looking for I can even click the arrow here and I'll have even more options so I see it's on the Beach Boys Kokomo on the sounds of the Beach Boys album and I can share the song link with a friend via email I can buy the song from iTunes or I can even watch a YouTube video for the song so what it does is it, it searches YouTube and shows me what YouTube videos are available and then if I click any one of these it'll launch my YouTube app right on my iPhone and I can watch the actual YouTube video so that's pretty cool and if that didn't blow your mind already let me show you another feature of Midomi. Midomi actually has four major features um, let me let me show you another one now have you ever been wandering around and you heard a song and you really like it but you don't know what it is maybe it's playing on the radio or something well Midomi actually can go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and try that now So you'll see here I just played a random song off the radio and we'll see if Midomi will know what it is and there it is Say You Say Me by Lionel Richie and let's go ahead and click it. So that is actually the right song so that's pretty cool and again we can click the arrow and we have all the same options we can share the link we can watch YouTube videos or we can buy it from iTunes. Let me go ahead and stop the song now so you guys can hear me even though I don't sound quite as good as Lionel Richie. So that's Midomi, it actually has four major features, but um, I'm just gonna show you two for today and you can play with the other two later on your own time. The next app I wanna to talk to you guys about is movies.app. Now there are, a lot of, there are a lot of movie apps out there which show you show times, but this is the best free one. So when you first launch uh, movies.app, it asks you which city you're looking for. You can type in any zip code, you put in the day, and it lets you search by either movie title or by theater. I like searching by theater, so I'll go ahead and do, do my search now. And there it is, here's all the theaters in my area. Um, let me go ahead and select the AMC Promenade 16. And it shows me all the movies that are playing there right now. And uh, I've heard good things about Wally, so let me check that out. I'll go ahead and click on Wally. It gives me all the details of the movie quickly, including a rating, which this one has a five star rating. And then down below is all the pertinent information. I see the theater it's at, and even the show times. I can go ahead and click on the arrow here, and it shows me all the different movie times that Wally is playing today. Um, I can buy tickets here. I can even get a map to the theater, which launches my maps application and lets me get turn by turn directions right to the theater. Something that I really liked about this app that a lot of the free apps don't have is I can actually watch the trailer directly from the from the app and it launches my YouTube and it opens up and you'll see I'm watching a trailer for Wally now and I'll go ahead and stop that. And when I stop it, I'm right back in the app. I actually don't leave the app, so I'm still right here in the app. Um, another nice feature about this app is it shows me what's going on in the box office so I can see how the movies did this weekend. So I see here that Hellboy 2 made 35.9 million while Hancock made 33 million. So I can see what's doing well and I can also even see what is opening soon. So I'll see these movies are all coming out, um, coming out soon so I can look at all these movies and get a quick description of what they're about. So that's the second app, Movies.app. The third app I want to share with you is Dial Zero. Now this is actually a, a, a very interesting tool. 
and it's designed to get around the automated system that a lot of the big corporations have put into place to keep us from talking to a real life human being. So this app doesn't get you directly to a person right away. It would be nice if it did, but what it does do is it gets you right in the queue right away. So you don't have to spend 10 minutes talking to an automated system and then finally being put in the queue and waiting more time to talk to an operator. So I'm using an Apple iPhone. Let's say I want to call Apple about my iPhone. So I start typing Apple and you see that it already guessed Apple. There it is. So I'll go ahead and click on Apple here and it tells me to get a live person, press zero at each prompt, ignoring the messages. So let's go ahead and try that now. I'll click the phone number and I'll tell it to call. Put it on speakerphone so we can all hear it. Welcome to the Apple Care Service and Support Line. So it says zero every prompt, so I'll go ahead and do that now. For quality assurance purposes, your call may not be recorded. Okay, to get you to the right person. So I'm ignoring the prompts like the directions I told me to. Sorry, I didn't understand. Say the name of the... I'll send you to someone who can direct your call to the right specialist. Hold on. So you'll see here now I'm in queue and after after only 25 seconds they put me in the queue where I'm actually waiting for a live Apple representative. Thank you for calling Apple. We answer all calls in the order they are received. Due to heavy call volume, the estimated wait time for the next available representative is 5 minutes or greater. So then you'll see that that's pretty cool. I'm actually in queue already. So I don't have to spend time deciding if I want to go to technical support or customer support. I go right to uh, a live person. So that is dial zero. And um, the next app I want to show you guys is a photo is a photo sharing application called Air Me. Now everyone knows the iPhone has a beautiful camera, but we, but I want an easier way that I can share my pictures with all my friends. So you'll see here that they have pictures that I've taken before through Air Me. And then I can take a new picture very easily by clicking the camera icon. It opens up my camera. And of course right now my camera is against a blank background. But I'll go ahead and snap this picture anyway. So I snap the picture and they ask me if I want to use the photo. I will go ahead and use the photo. And then the photo saves. As soon as the photo saves, it will upload to a picture site. It's set up to upload to either Flickr or if you don't have a Flickr, they, you can create an Air Me account and it will upload directly to Air Me. So you'll see here it's uploading one item. It's uploading actually to my Flickr album. So all my friends on Flickr will be able to see it in real time. Immediately after uploading, it is on the website. So there's no delay at all. So that's one nice, that's one real nice feature about it. If I want to send this picture to somebody specifically and I don't want them to have to go to my Flickr account, I can also send via email right through the application. So that is a really nice photo sharing tool from the in the app store called Air Me. And the final app I want to share with you guys is a sports tool. And this is called Sports Sports Tap. And what Sports Taps does is it gives you a quick, easy way to see what's going on in all of sports. So you don't have to launch Safari and go to ESPN.com or anything like that. So it asks you what sport you want to look at. So the, they have a home screen which has all the major sports here. And there's actually no live games going on right now during this recording. But if there were a live game, there would be a badge on each icon showing me how many games are going on. Since it's baseball season, let me go ahead and launch base, the baseball app right now. So I will go ahead and click on Major League Baseball and it loads and you'll see that it says there's no games today. Let me look at yesterday's games so I can show you how the application actually works. So um, I clicked on yesterday and it will give me a result of all the games. So you'll see here that these are all the games that were on yesterday and I can see quickly who won the game. And then I can click on any game I want and it will actually show me box scores for the game and what happened in that game. So. For example, in this game, I picked the Yankees and the Blue Jays game. It gives me the final score, but then down here, it gives me a scoring summary, showing me what, when all the runs happened. I can go to all plays, see what happened inning by inning, and actually see what's going on in the whole entire game if, if I really want to know what's going on. So there's a lot of information here, and um, on the bottom, they, they always have a quick way to go, to, to go right back to wherever you want to go. I can go back to baseball. And then you'll see here it does take a second to load. So I go back to baseball or even go back to the home screen again. So that's Sports Tap. Um, again, just a great portal for you to find out all your sports needs. So those are my top five apps in the App Store. They're all free, and you don't need to be part of any specific network to get any one of these. So I think these are must-have for all iPhone owners. And once again, it's been Capen with Apple iPhone apps, and I'll sync with you next time.